Hey everyone, James here. I'm a 65-year-old architect, and today I want to share something deeply personal with you all. This is my story about dealing with erectile dysfunction. Now before we dive in, I want to say that this isn't easy to talk about, but I believe that opening up about it can help others who might be going through the same thing. So let's start with day one. I remember waking up, feeling like something was off. I brushed it aside, thinking it was just a one-time thing. But days turned into weeks and weeks into months. I tried to ignore it, hoping it would resolve on its own. But it didn't. The frustration grew, and so did the embarrassment. You see, for many men, our sense of masculinity is tied to our physical performance. And when that's compromised, it can feel like a part of us is missing. I reached a point where I couldn't ignore it any longer. I decided to speak with my doctor. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. But talking about it was the first step towards finding a solution. My doctor was understanding and supportive. He explained that erectile dysfunction is more common than I had thought. Millions of men experience it, especially as they age. He also reassured me that there are treatments available. We discussed various options, from lifestyle changes to medication. I started with simple things like improving my diet, exercising regularly, and reducing stress. These changes didn't just help my condition, they made me feel better overall. I also explored other treatments under my doctor's guidance. It was a journey of trial and error, finding what worked best for me. And slowly but surely, I began to see improvement. But here's the most important part. Addressing erectile dysfunction isn't just about physical health. It's about emotional and psychological well-being too. Opening up to my partner about what I was going through strengthened our relationship. We faced it together as a team. So why am I sharing this? Because I know there are many men out there who feel isolated and ashamed. I want you to know that you're not alone. It's okay to seek help and talk about it. Remember, taking the first step to address the issue is the hardest part. But once you do, you open the door to solutions and support. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it inspires you to take charge of your health and well-being. If you have any questions or need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to reach out. Take care and stay strong. This is James, signing off.